What's going on YouTube? D-Star back again with another sound design tutorial and um, here we are in Serum and I'm going to show you guys how to make this sound. Shit. <laughs> Pretty sick, right? First, I want to apologize. I know I haven't uploaded a tutorial in two days. I'm trying to do daily updates. It's a huge undertaking. I'm extremely busy during the day and at night. I had three gigs this week and I feel like shit. I'm getting sick again because I run myself way too hard. So I apologize. But yes, please, before we begin, hit like and subscribe. I'm trying to upload every single day. So you guys are definitely in for some great content. Um, that said, I'm still learning the ropes on YouTube. So leave a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. And um, yeah, let's get it started. Let's open up a new U uh, new serum here. I almost said new YouTube. And um, we're going to start. The principle of the sound is going to be, I'm going to shut the other one off, um, the BSOD square. Um, the blue screen of death square, which was Dead Mouse and Steve Duda's group together. Um, and we're going to do an LFO shape like that, skip or take. Um, and that's going to shape the sound. And we're going to do, we're going to start the level. I'm actually going to leave a little bit of level in between. Um, and what this does is it modulates the volume of the sound to follow this lead. You should get that, but it doesn't start exactly at the start. When you click it, it follows a pattern. And to change that, we hit trigger. And now you've got yourself a cool little, you can do envelope too. But then you get that little hang. So we'll stay with trigger for now. Either or works. And uh, I have it at a quarter rate, which is default. And that's it. And somewhere around there. Again, your mileage may vary. I don't want you guys to copy every single number exactly. Figure out what it does. Learn. Um, that's what this is about. Now we're going to detune this. But I don't want it to be too spaced. So I'm going to turn the random down. And what the random does really quickly is it, um, with it up all the way, they randomly starts the wavetable at different points, which makes it spread out and wide once it's detuned. If you turn it down, it starts them all at the same point, but the pitch wavers a little bit um, because the detune causes that. So it's a little bit, um, it's more centered then, and that's what, kind of what we want with these kind of bass sounds. Um, cool, and I think, yep, that's it for that. We're gonna do the mod, we're gonna modulate the wavetable too. Just to add a little bit of movement in there, um, it's optional. And we're gonna turn, um, we're gonna turn the sub on, and we're gonna lower it all the way. And we're gonna turn up three, and we're gonna use the rounded square, which is kind of in between. I think it actually says what it does right here. In between, it's kind of in between a square and a sub uh, sign, and that'll add some more harmonics to make it more interesting. You'll see what it means in a second. Um, sub FM oscillator, and I find the happy spot in here for sub is right around here. Anything higher and then you get too much feedback, too much frequency modulation. And we're gonna, we're gonna automate, we're gonna modulate that. And let's try right around here. And then you can already hear the principle of the sound right away. Too high and it sounds like that. Too low and it sounds kind of muddy. Play a couple different keys in your keyboard. You'll know when you hit it right. There's kind of like a magic, you know, a money, money spot that you'll hear. And we're going to add some bright noise as well. And um, it doesn't mean a whole lot now, but it will add up when we get it processed. Even less than that, I think is okay. We're going to come back and we're going to tweak stuff later. All right, cool. So that's the principle of the sound already. Um, but the real, the kind of, to take it to the next level and give it the, you know, hit you in the chest kind of feel, we're going to use the banner jack filter. And um, I find it really helps on the low end. So let's keep the cutoff over here. And um, we're going to modulate all off this LFO. Um, and this, this obviously modulates the point, And this modulates the width, which creates that wall sound. Um, and it kind of looks like a mouth too. So if you make that out loud, your mouth will kind of look like this filter. And uh, let's add that. And we're going to move stuff around, try to find, a, you know, the money zone. You might like that spot. I might like this spot. That's the difference between you and I. Do it to your tastes. I think that sounds great, to be honest. The 
resonance doesn't seem to have a huge noticeable effect. I'll run the noise through it and uh, let's try the wide. Let's try going like that. See, that's too much. You lose the low end. I think that's pretty good. Let's try moving this a little. Yep, I'm happy with that. Cool. And again, experiment. So let's add a little drive. And just for the premise, let's lower this master a little bit. All right, cool. And just so you know, ooh, that's way too quiet. Let's try it. Hear what it does? Sounds great. Gives you that, it kind of creates that, like, um, that vocally tone a little bit, that whoa, you know, and that's what we're looking for in these kind of sounds. All right, cool. For processing, hyperdimension, I'm turning it up. Turn the size down so it doesn't get too crazy. I'm gonna turn this down all the way just so you can hear this. Too much. And uh, it, it's just, I don't know, I like to keep it tight. Too much and it kinda, you can hear the trail a little bit and I don't really like that. And this adds a lot of top end but it also adds a little phasey sound. So we're just gonna use a little bit, just cause it'll fill the highs in a little bit with the detuning. Distortion, we're just gonna turn on the tube. We can turn this back up now too. Let's lower it a touch. Too much and it'll chew it up. You know, somewhere around 20 to 30 is cool. We'll come back a tweak later. And uh, compressor, we're gonna use the OTT, and this is where it's gonna take it to another level. That just mangles the sound. And then to control that, we're gonna filter it with the uh, 12 decibel low pass. <coughs> and we're gonna add it and drag it on like this. Somebody asked me in the other video too, how do you switch between this and this, like the envelope versus the LFO style or the wobble style. And that's Alt or Option, depending on if you're a PC or a Mac shift and click. I'm pretty sure it's alt shift click on a PC. I'm a Mac user obviously. So we yeah, have it's option shift click and you can switch through. Probably the most handy thing to know. And the only thing we're going to do here is we're going to tame the highs a little bit. We'll add a little resonance and a little drive. because my fat fingers keep hitting two buttons. And I'll put a little reverb on after. I don't really love this reverb, to be honest with you, but just to kind of give you a little idea. It sounds a bit more distorted than my previous one. But I'm not mad at it. Let's take a reference. All right, so that's the FM that we're hearing the difference of. And we're gonna go back and try tweaking this a little bit. Oops. And the only reason I'm looking is because I want to make sure I deliver the same exact sound you guys heard in the tutorial. Your mileage may vary if you change it a little bit, that's okay. Um, it looks pretty exact to be honest with you. Um, the resonance is a little hot. Let's check out the effects section as well. And again, if you kind of, you know, you don't copy verbatim, sometimes you can kind of get um, you know, you can make those happy mistakes where it's like, oh, that sounds even better. And we're going to mess around a little bit after I get the sound exactly. Oh, wow, I use a lot more OTT. That might be it. There we go. And let's check that last filter. It's about the same. That's crazy. I knew that off of memory. Cool. Pretty similar. 
Um, the other one, you can copy the settings if you'd like. Yeah, it definitely has a little bit more of an FM tone to it. Let me go back and see what, we're, what we're missing here. Uh, this is higher. Super touchy on the on the FM if you haven't noticed. Yeah, there it is. The FM is super touchy, as you can see. A touch of it will really take the sound to the next level. So it's up to you to kind of find that happy spot. You might even be able to make it sound better than me um, by moving it around. And that's it. That's the principle of the sound. Let's freestyle a little bit and let's move stuff around and see if we can get it to sound even cooler. I'm going to play different pitches up, down, you know, move it up and down the keyboard, you know, mess around for a little bit and let's see what we can find. Pretty sick. I gotta EQ out the bass on that for sure. It's too low. And again, you know, if you got the sound you wanted, feel free to get the fuck off the tutorial. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, um, you know, this is just kind of some ideas for stuff you can do. That's crazy. Let's try throwing an OTT on after this. I think I like it higher like that, and then maybe even like drop an octave down on the sub bass. Um, on a separate synth and layer that. Pretty sweet. Um, that could work. Let's try some distortion. Or even just a saturator, to be honest. Let's see. Let's try to stick with some Ables and stuff. Pretty cool. That sounds great on the C note. Awesome. Yeah, I just wanted to run through that a little bit, show you guys a little idea of how you can kind of make it your own so you don't just copy it and not know what's up. Uh, moving the FM around a little bit, moving the band reject filters, uh, maybe even playing with the width. Playing it on different octaves, the FM, moving the, the modulation, uh, the modulator up here up and down, or in this case, up. You could try doing different ones. I think this is going to be too much. Sounds kind of cool. It's different. That's dope. I like that. Let's try peaking it a little bit more with this. Dude, the possibilities are endless. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it inspires you to make some crazy bass patches of your own. You could even go back and swap the wavetables out if you'd like crazy. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, you learned something, please hit like and subscribe. Plenty more content coming soon. Thank you guys so much. See you soon.